What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is actually the origin story of something that's required. Some research. And I'm lazy, so I I wanted this to come out sooner, but procrastinating is a serious thing. But we're going to go over the origin of the Lake Trio. Lake Spirits, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Doesn't matter. They look boring usually. Except Azelf, they're, they're the cool one. And just a quick recap, Azelf is willpower, they're found in Lake Valor, they might be the one you can catch, or they roam, they're kind of weird. They run around and stuff. And Mesprit is emotion, and Lake Verity, you have to run there, and then they run around the whole region, and it's chaos. And then... Yuxi is knowledge, and found in Lake Acuity, which is it, its place, and then they just run around, which is always fun. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of roaming legendaries. They, they just run. It'd be nicer, like, I'm okay with them roaming, just as long as they don't run away every time I encounter them, because then I can't do anything. It's like, then I need to get mean look on something. Or something with arena trap. And I need to not kill them. But they are based off of, loosely, the Imperial Regalia of Japan. Which, just for starters, um, Mesprit is the jewel. Yuxi would be the mirror. And Azelf is the sword. And we don't know if this is actually what they all look like, because the public has never seen them. Only the Emperor gets to see the sword, mirror, and jewel. So, I don't know, maybe the sword looks even cooler. Maybe the mirror is also cooler, and more impressive. I would rather have the sword, though. Swords are cool. But anyways, the story goes that, and bear with me on pronunciations, Pronouncing words are hard. I am bad at grammar. The sun goddess Amma Teresu gifted the three objects to her son, Nagigi. Just gifted them right to him. And so he could rule over the earth. I would assume not a bad gig. Unless people want your job, then I guess... The, then there's fighting. But, uh, the... Yasakani, or jewel, or pearl, or beads, we don't know really, um, caused a fight between Amaterasu and Sa Sanu, her brother, and, uh, well, the storm god is what he is, yep. And after the fight, Amaterasu hid in a cave. Why a cave? Why not build yourself a palace since you're a god? I don't know. I'm not, not going to question it. Maybe it was a nice cave. But in order to get her out of the cave, uh, they t took a took a mirror to lure her out. And it worked. Bidoof may not actually be in the real story. Maybe Bidoof is just cooler. Then I, I don't really know. Who was it that lured her out? You could tell me in the comments, because I probably am missing out on a few things if you actually know this. But the sword, or Kusanagi, was pulled out from a monster's tail by Susanu, which is pretty cool that he pulled a sword from something's tail. Is the sword the whole tail? Is it part of the tail? All great questions. And then, uh, the three different objects are now famously known as, or famous emblems of Nagigi's power over the Earth, because somehow he ended up with all of them, because of course he's got a sword, sh shield-looking mirror thing, and, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, besides... All of the objects are passed down to the emperors of Japan now. Wouldn't pass up a free sword. 
Swords are fun and cool. But that's all for now. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.